Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Gardener UK, where I show you how to maximize on your growing spaces, balconies, terraces, patios, even your windowsill. This is gonna sound really silly, but this video has taken me a month to complete, basically down to my <laughs> anxiety and my stupid mindset. Essentially, things go wrong in your garden and sometimes it's just out of your control but re-watching some of the footage was a bit annoying and a bit frustrating for me but I thought it would be a really good teachable moment to myself but to other people so sometimes when you are gardening you fail but you know with a little bit of love and nurture things really really do bounce back in your garden and so what I wanted to show you today was yes I had a, a bit of a miss, but nature has a funny way of coming right back. As you can see, it's pretty windy out here today, and this is a really normal occurrence out here on the Cloud Garden. If you look behind me, I've already had a disaster again for the second time this year. So let's go and take a closer look. Due to the microclimate on my garden, I start my seeds earlier than most people. I had hollyhocks, sunflowers, geraniums, delphiniums, foxgloves, and many more. I'm really sorry if this video is a bit low energy today, but I, I really can't hide my disappointment with the greenhouse. It's so cold out here uh, with that wind chill that I've had to go and put on a jacket. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually snowing up here. So one of the things with the wind up here is there's no way to combat it. So if you are ground gardening, you will probably put up a hedge in your windy section and that will create a kind of barrier, it's like a windbreaker, which will then protect the rest of your garden. But if you have a look at the cow garden, there's absolutely no way to do that. And then if you look at the construction, there are these panels that the wind blows straight through. As well as the end protection. I've also had to learn that plants with large leaves like sunflowers, they don't do very well in the wind. The wind saps up the moisture in the leaves and leaves them with wind burn. Surprisingly, marigolds fare quite well. As a defence, they'll bring their leaves inwards to protect them and then unfold them when the wind dies down. So, it's pretty hard to judge because obviously there are no trees that you can see, but if you look at all the trees in the background, you can barely see any form of swaying or anything like that. Normally I keep my eye on the weather and if I can see that it's going to be relatively windy then I would have to take the relevant and necessary precautions up here by bringing anything tall back into the cloud garden. But weather watching there was, there was absolutely no sign that the wind up here would be this strong. So now I've got to start the process of essentially packing up the garden and putting as much inside as I can or at least resting it to a point where I know that the plants and pots up here will be safe. So I'll show you that process as well as dealing with that greenhouse and the damage. I suspect I've probably already lost one of my red cabbages which I have been growing for about five months so I'm pretty gutted anyway here are some of my sunflowers that I had to bring in last year these cherry tomatoes were also brought indoors too this year I've set myself a challenge of doing some more vertical growing it will be a real challenge against the wind but I want to give it a try 
the garden is looking pretty wild <laughs> but as you can see everything has bounced right back let me show you I remember being so upset about my cabbages but look at them now in fact all of my brassicas are absolutely thriving I did lose a vast amount in the greenhouse but I did manage to rescue the snapdragons and also my geranium cuttings. So there you go, we're going to leave this on a high note. Hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!